welcome to Neophyte.tv, the technology show for the not-so-geeky. I'm Heather Driscoll. And I'm Ben Friedman. And today on the show, we are going to be looking at this super cool product that I absolutely love, mm -hmm. which is the uh, MogoTalk XD charger case by a yep. company called ID8. Mm -hmm. What is it, I hear you asking out there? <laughs> well, uh, this is a case for your iPhone 4, although they right. have them for the other iPhones too. Yep. Uh, and you, you insert your iPhone 4 into it thusly. One piece. One piece, silicone, silicon yep. style case. Grippy. Right. So what's the big deal, you might ask? Well, what's here's, the big deal, Ben? There you go, thanks. In the back of this case is a Bluetooth headset cool. thingamajigger, which I'm going to try cool. to put in here without taking my mic off. That was pretty seamless. Isn't it? And it's You've so done this light. Before. <laughs> I've, been, I've been using this for a couple of weeks yeah. here. Uh, it's the lightest one I've ever. I mean, look how thin this thing is. I mean, it yeah. is super thin, thin, super light. Yep. Uh, it has this like uh, little thing that's on a hinge. Show them how that hinges. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that it's way you can put in. it back into this flat slot. The biggest problem I have with all these Bluetooth things is I usually leave them in the car. Or I leave them at home. Leave them at home, really. Right. And uh, right. and so when you then get a long call that you need to start, you know, you don't have it with you. Right. Here. Fits into the back really of the uh, smart, case like that. Really smart idea. So this is kind of an all-in-one. It's very light. The case itself is light. The earpiece is light. It comes with several different earbuds, so that different sizes, so different everything size fits ears, in yeah. your Did ear. Did you find one that fits your ear? Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Actually, how do you pop this out now? You push down on that one side, on Just the side kidding. with the gap. Okay. Yeah, push down on it. Push. It. There you go. Got it. Okay. Kind of pivot Just it out. I did find one that, that actually fit just fine. Right. I think the sound quality is very good, but as far as just comfortable, I almost said comfortableness. That's horrendous. I almost just said- Obviously been hanging around with me too long. Comfortableness of It's obviously this. a very poor strategery. <laughs> yeah, that's, it's not my best day. Uh, as far as comfort, uh, this one feels great. It's not an over your ear piece that no, kind of feels like a hearing aid. And so. other ones that don't have that over the ear piece for me have fallen out because they've been yeah. too heavy. This right. thing is so light. Just that, an earbud. Yeah, it, it, yeah, just that earbud allows it to stay in there. So the main point of it is that it comes as an all-in-one. As far as the case itself, I wasn't as impressed. Um, you know why? Let me let's have, let everyone see your case here. <laughs> this is why. No. This is Heather's case. Put on Come your on. sunglasses, folks. Here we go. Look at this. Oh my! Look, we just blew out the camera there. Look, a shiny, shiny. This is the reason. Mogo talk. If you can make these in uh, shiny hot pink, like so, uh, Heather will buy ten of them. Right. Well, I just I've dropped many an iPhone, and uh, this is just a more sturdy case rather than. Yeah, it's all about the sturdiness. It it's is. It's nothing to do with the fact Literally, that it's Literally, I mean, I've smashed like three phones. So this one, the case itself, I was less impressed with, but the idea of it right. is better than, I mean, it's kind of like the McRib. It's like the idea of it is really good. I love McRibs. See, you would. Did you know you would a, like the did McRib. Did you know there's like a group of guys in the United States that travel all over the country following where the McRib is? They're that into it. So when the McRib comes for like six weeks in Kansas, they'll drive to Kansas, and then they're like, oh, it's going to be in West Virginia, so they'll drive to West Virginia. That's the single saddest piece of information you've like, ever given like me. It's they're like the like McRibbonauts or something. They have a name. Mm -mm. Look at Google it. The no. People who follow the Mc, McRib. But anyway, so I think just as far as the idea, I think is great. I'm waiting for my membership to be approved. You are waiting, aren't you? Yeah. Log and on. And then I'm going to be uh, Log on. following them around to get the McRib, which I love. Anyway. So um, this will, ex it's about four hours worth of talk time. Yeah, so it's not the biggest battery. I mean, how, you're no, not going to get huge. In, in something this big. Right. You're not going to have a exactly. big battery. Exactly. And the other problem with it is that, uh, it, I mean, maybe this is asking too much, but mm -hmm. it would be nice if it just charged with the one sync cable. Right. So you have to plug you your sync cable separately. in, and then you have also have to plug in right. the um, uh, charging cable to charge up the headset. But this pairs several devices at once, yeah. which is nice. So, but the case will only hold one. Yes. It'd be cool if the case could hold several devices. You're asking you put, too much put now. Put <laughs> two or three phones in the one case. Right. That would be good. I got to tell you, I think... Um, Quality wise, See. this is the thing. It's awesome quality. Mm -hmm. I have been talking on this, and most of the time I have a Bluetooth headset. Mm -hmm. People are like, You're on a Bluetooth headset, right. right? This thing, people, I've asked, Hey, how do I sound? Do I sound like I'm on a headset? People have actually. Really clear. Yeah, it's amazingly clear. Yes. Clearer than some of the $200 ones I've tried. Right. So, how much is this one? It's like 70 bucks. Okay. Yeah. That's a good deal. It's a good deal. Yeah. Case and Bluetooth thingy, 70 bucks. Good deal. Highly recommended. Yeah. It's the Mogo Talk XD. Uh, from uh, ID8 Mobile, uh, I 
Can't say enough good things about it. I yeah. even like the case. This is now my go-to case. Right. You love it. I do. Go-to MoGo. Go-to MoGo. I just like saying that. You do. And we got another segment coming after this, so please stay tuned. I'm not sure where I was going with the whole McRib thing, but... Uh, I did it. I, I put it out there. It's my yeah, fault. Yeah, okay. You did. You started it. And we're back, and in the second segment, uh, we're gonna be looking at a few different wireless keyboards. All of these keyboards are wireless and mm -hmm. all kind of serve a different purpose. Mm -hmm. And let's start with this one. This is the biggest of the three. This yep. is the Genius Ultra Slim. The Slim Star. Slim Star. Yeah. The Slim Star. <laughs> that sounds like a uh, refrigerator from the 80s. Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> Go back, you know, and you know, it's, it's the new GE Slim right. Star. I like yeah. it. Um, full keyboard, which is nice. A lot of the wireless ones don't have the uh, numeric keypad. The separate keypad, number pad, yep. Which is nice to have. Mm -hmm. But it's got that chiclet style of keys again. Yes. What do you think? This one is not my favorite, so I thought this was a bit heavy um, as, as far as just a wireless keyboard goes, but I think that it is because of the extra, um, the number pad on the right. And I gotta tell you, for a, for a unit that's not designed to travel, this is really designed, I think, to, because yeah. it's, you know, it's big just, enough, it's designed to be your, your, for your main keyboard, yeah. the mouse is small. Very small. Do you like small mice? No. I do not like, I, I like either. a mouse that feels like you've got like a half You really control it, yeah, like. Empty yeah. trash can. Right. Yeah, totally. And it stays empty. Yeah. <laughs> you know, whereas this Bam. mouse is, it's this is like a travel mouse, and it'd be a good travel mouse. Yeah. It seems a little odd that it's paired with this keyboard. I agree, because this one should be kind of your go-to keyboard yeah. at work, yeah. you know, full use, and then the mouse, not so much. Um, the keys are very big. I like um, the keyboard, actually. Yeah. The keys are big, feels good. Yeah, it's wireless, and what's the part of the best thing about this is the price. Twenty five bucks. Twenty five bucks for yeah. a wireless mouse and keyboard combo. Uh, I think that's you smoke know, and deal. Smoke and deal, and that's smoke what Genius is really good at is, mm -hmm. is giving you a lot of value for your money. Mm -hmm. And that's great. Right. Yeah. Uh, no so complaints. that's the Genius Slim Star keyboard okay. mouse wireless combo. Okay. Let's, we love uh, the keyboard mouse, not so much. Move that over there. Okay. And then let's move on. Now these are a couple of keyboards by is it Azio or I Az think so. A Z I O Azio. I think Azio. This is obviously a very Mac like keyboard. Yeah, very right? Mac friendly. Very Mac friendly. It's got like mm -hmm. the command key on there as well. Right. This is Bluetooth. So what's cool about yeah. that is there's no dongle. It'll cook up to any of the Macs, iMacs, <laughs> the laptop Macs. Mm -hmm. What are you laughing at? Dongle. dongle. I, said I know, dongle. right? I said dongle. I'm, just, I'm so childish. It's I, ridiculous. Yeah, it's, it is. It's absolutely crazy. It's ridiculous. Be professional, will you? Right. No. Um, I like this. And again, uh, this is 37 bucks, which is about half the price of Apple's, mm -hmm. Apple's version of the same thing. The keys here are a bit different. Yeah. Um, these are almost kind of gummy feeling. I don't know. It's a personal preference thing. These keyboards like are these just... You don't like I do like these. Yeah. So for me, I really like um, the way that these feel. Easy use, does not have the number pad on the right, Doesn't but again, have the number pad. really yeah. light. I mean, this weighs almost nothing. Yeah, and it actually so. has some extra keys over the Apple one. It's got some extra function keys that mm -hmm. the Apple keyboard doesn't have. Right, so you and can this one's so much cheaper. That. Yeah, So if half you're looking for value and you want something that's compatible with and your Mac. And it looks kind of Apple E. It totally does. Right. Yeah, if you don't look closely, if I just kind of wave it around, is this yeah. Apple? Is like, this is Asio? What is Apple? this? Not Apple. Apple and Asio, almost, they almost sound the same. I think so. Right. I was fooled. We both liked it. <laughs> And it's not—it's plastic. It's not aluminum like the Apple one. No, but no one needs to know that. Right. It's, I mean, it's painted to look like aluminum. Yeah, but that's fine. There you go. Uh, this is my favorite of the three, okay, which let's is see it. also by ASIO. And let's this is it. their uh, trackball keyboard, a mini trackball keyboard. This it's the cool. KB531RT. Mm -hmm. uh, comes with, again, a little wireless dongle. And this is really designed for home theater applications. I was going to say, because this is too small for just a network. Yeah. It's super tiny. Right. So you could you could uh, take this and mm -hmm. um, you have it on your couch. See, I have a keyboard uh, mm -hmm. on my coffee table because I have a computer. Okay. I have a Mac Mini computer on my TV. Of course you do. Of course I do. The problem is, is I have a mouse, and if you're li if you're if I'm leaning forward on the coffee table, it's that's okay. okay. But if I'm leaning back and I want, I've got to like try to mouse on my leg oh. or on my arm or on my wife's shoulder. It's just inappropriate. It, it is inappropriate. It just is. Uh, yeah. Whereas with a little keyboard like this, first of all, it's half the size of that keyboard on the Right. Mouse. This is almost the size of like a large remote. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, basically. Almost, <laughs> almost do that. Yeah. Um, and then it's got this uh, trackball, trackball here. So yeah. what you can be doing is, oh, I need to go forward. You can just do this and click Perfect. and click and click. Really Put easy. Put it down on your lap. Try, you know, typing in, you know, episode four of House, enter, and then mm -hmm. play. That's you know. it. Yeah, very easy. This one's the lightest of the three, obviously very, very small. Mm -hmm. It weighs almost as much as, I mean, a phone, yeah. smartphone. It's so if you can get past typing on the keys that are... Really and you're miniature. Gonna, but you're not going to be you're not going to be you know typing up your novel while you're sitting on the couch. This is for like searching no. for a program or right. you know. But a what quick if it's type. like a, a long show that you're searching for, like Keeping Up with the Kardashians? I don't watch it, but if you did, that you, would be harder to type on. Come on, <laughs> that would be harder to type. I'd have to only watch short shows like ER. Right. And then that's it. <laughs> House. <laughs> right. Just, just right. that's it. So anything longer than that, it's too much. So right. if you can get past typing on this small of a keyboard, I think this is a great value too. So this one's like 40 bucks, is yeah. that right? Yeah. yeah. So for again, for wireless, and it comes with a little trackball thingy in there. So that's great. Pretty cool. Works well. Yeah. So that's two keyboards by Azio mm -hmm. and one by Genius. Mm -hmm. I think that's a nice uh, keyboard roundup. I think so too. That's all the time we have for today. Go to our website. Uh, let us know what you think. Do you mind the fact that the keyboard is plastic and not aluminum? Do you like the idea of having a small all-in-one trackball track little mm -hmm. thingy, like belly button thing to uh, play around with while you're on the couch? www.neo-fight.tv, that's mm -hmm. where you can leave us a comment, or go to our Facebook page, mm -hmm. facebook.com slash neophyte, and that's where you can friend, leave us, a comment. friend us. It's not friending us, it's liking us. Liking us. And that's, uh, and, uh, and that's where we uh, troll for people to give away stuff to. Right. And if you have an extra 30 seconds, take a look at this. If you need to make recordings of your computer screen, there's no better tool than Camtasia from TechSmith. In fact, you're watching a screen recording of this video right now. Camtasia can record your screen, your webcam, and high quality audio at the same time. It's perfect for training, presentations, podcasts, or any time you need to show what's going on on your computer. Camtasia is easy to use, but it's also extremely powerful. You can turn your screen recordings into high quality polished video in no time and share them with the world. And Camtasia is available for the Mac and PCs. If you need to make screen recordings to educate, train, or sell, there's no better tool than Camtasia from TechSmith.